welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's the next day. And uh, like I said, after lowering the car, I'm going to have to roll these fenders. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll turn it around. It'll be easier to show you guys. But ooh, it's bright. I've got this fender liner in here. I'm going to take this off so that I can roll this, this edge just a little bit more. Just so that I have enough room clearance to get the tires underneath there so it's not rubbing while I'm driving but um, I've got this fender roller shout out to Caleb my buddy of mine he lent me the tool <laughs> I'm using this uh, extension as the the pin that's supposed to go there but it works so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this all on here and then uh, get the fender liner out of there and start rolling this fender I'll pick it up once I start rolling. All right, guys. So I've got it all. I've got it all connected. Got the got the angle that I want on there. It looks like it's already kind of rolled, honestly, but I'm just gonna push it back just so it's not rubbing on my tire. So I'm gonna before I start rolling it, I'm gonna apply some heat with my heat gun. <laughs> my fancy heat gun there. Just gonna apply a little bit of heat on there and start rolling it. So uh, for this part, I'm probably just gonna put it on a time lapse and record it. So you guys don't watch me heating this up forever and then rolling my fender. But I'll go ahead and put the car in neutral so that the tire will kind of so it'll kind of spin and rotate. And yeah, let's get to it. Car was 300 bucks. It's gonna roll these fucking fenders. Tighten this up. And start rolling. Well, there's a little spot back here that I need to like hammer it up just because it was like already bent down. These fenders aren't in the best shape anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just, just bend it up just enough for the roller to kind of roll on it. I don't want that bacon fender. There we go. Got a little bit over here. Uh -huh. And really, you want to heat it up so that you don't crack the paint like I did over here. But it also helps the metal like fold easier, I guess. All right. And I'll get you guys off of the camera and show you what it looks like. I meant to say off I meant to say off the tripod, but so just rolled it up. So that's like pressed up against the metal of like the fender itself. And then uh go ahead and take all this take all this stuff off. I'll go ahead and take all this stuff off and uh, put the tire back on and we'll see how, see if it clears. So I'll pick up the camera once the tire is back on and the car is on the floor. Yeah.
All right, guys. There you have it. It gave me all the clearance I needed to get to get these rolled. So no more rubbing on the inside, anyways. But I'm gonna push this in a little bit just because I don't like it so gappy. There we go. And that fitment. And I've already done all the other ones. I didn't want to record me rolling all the fenders, all the fenders because it would take forever. But that should give that should give me enough clearance to not rub anymore. So that should be good. I might rub a little bit back here, but yeah, it's kind of hard to see. The sun's in the way now. And then decide. So, um, now I'm gonna take it out for a little spin and see how it see how it ha how see how it feels. So, yeah, I'll pick up the camera when I'm driving. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm out here testing out the, the new coilovers on the on the CG6 Accord. Uh, I mean, so far, these things ride super smooth. I think I need to roll the back ones a little bit more, just kind of flare them out a little bit, just because it's still, it is still rubbing quite a bit. But really only when I hit a, like a bump. If I'm on like flat ground and it's driving straight, there's nothing really too bad with the road. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not. But it's, it's rubbing a little bit, not too bad. But yeah, I mean, driving super smooth. So far, Max Speed Rods has not let me down with their coilovers. On the CRV, it rides really good. On this, it rides really smooth. Like I said, it hit a small bump, it might rub a little bit, but nonetheless, it's still really smooth. And it got the car pretty damn low, I will say. I think it looks really good and uh well we'll kind of just test it out right now i'll get home and i'll pick up the camera and close up the video okay i'll see you guys when i get there Shaking, the wheel is straight, but nonetheless, it drives well. Oh, yeah, that tire rub is real. <laughs> it's not good. All right, and we're back. Let's get this bad boy up here. That's not bad. A little tire rub never hurt nobody. All right, guys, there you have it. Max speeding rods, coilovers on the CG6. Ride really good. Looks good too. Gets it super low. It looks really good. There you have it. It's gonna be the end of this video, kind of short, but video nonetheless. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.